Get off of Instagram. Get off that game that you spent countless hours of your life playing. And check your screen time. The average person spends about nine hours a day on screens, meaning that at 70 years old, you ought to spend over 26 and a half years on screens. To give you a bit of perspective on that, you would spend 25 years sleeping. All of which adding up means that you would have spent 70% of your life doing nothing or on screens. And yet, after 26 years, we probably still don't know much about how computers affect the people around us, the environment, our health, and our privacy. There's a, there's a statistic that states that on Instagram, you're about six friends away from everyone else in the world. Meaning that you have a friend who has a friend who has a friend, about hopefully that was six times. And um, I mean, redefining how that we're all connected through computers. Bringing us to social impacts. When I think social impacts of computers on our lives, we usually all think of uh, social media. And in some respects, that's true. I mean, you should probably spend a little less time on social media and more in real life, but there is more to this, and there's more to how computers affect the people around us than simply our first world glance. A perfect example of this is the Foxconn Corporation. How many of you have heard the name? I know, me personally, I haven't. It's the third largest employer in the world, third only to Walmart and McDonald's, and has a total number of employees of around 1.3 million. And their product is none other than the iPhone that's in your pocket right now. Now, many of you will think, wait, I thought robots made everything nowadays. And in some regards, that's true. I mean, there's over 12 million robots nowadays. And in some respects, these people are treated as robots. But that's not the point. The point, this is in the social impacts TED Talk. This is a TED Talk on how that our blind consumer some impacts all of the people around us. And the, this example, for, for starters, it used to be 12 people per room. Now it's about eight, thanks to bad PR. All of us around us, even though we don't realize that, have effects on everyone through computers. How many of you have heard about cryptocurrencies? <laughs> that's, that's a lot. Now, there's an increase in prevalence of these, with a market cap of all cryptocurrencies being about 2.6 trillion US dollars, or about 2.3 trillion euros. And all of these cryptocurrencies are based off of one fundamental technology, that is the blockchain. Computers work countless hours adding these blocks and transactions to what would be. How many of you have played video games? Again, that's a lot of hands. Um, video games are also being changed by these blockchain technologies. Crypto games, how cool would it be to be earn NFTs and cryptocurrency? every time you play video games. I mean, for me, that'd be pretty cool. And then ultimately, the metaverse. Many of us think that this is an idea of science fiction and not science fact. Well, that through the use of blockchain technology, people will, are developing an entire different world and ecosystem through, again, the blockchain. Bring this to our next point about the environment. Computers work 100% every day to 
create said blockchain. Now, uh, sorry. Now, as you can imagine, that computers working 100% every day doesn't exactly do wonders for the time and service. Bringing us to the environment. An estimated 50 million tons of uh, electronic waste was discarded last year. And yet, when most of us think about the impacts computers and screens have on the environment, we never really look past power. 50, no, sorry. 50 million tons. Most of which gets shipped to developing countries where there's little hope on recycling said materials. And for those of you who have been lucky enough to see a leaking battery, you'll know, you'll believe me when I say that it'll pollute groundwater that many people drink. Leaving most of this electronic waste or e-trash or e to be burnt in open air, if the idea of burning toxic chemicals uh, doesn't interest you, then maybe the idea that about $60 million worth of gold and silver and electronic components being burnt will. Now, privacy. How many of you have actually read the terms and conditions every time we download a new app? I know me personally, I've never read more than three words. I'll look for the checkbox, boom, done. <laughs> and each time that uh, we accept this seemingly pointless checkbox, we're signing away our data to be used and collected for countless different things. How many of you actually know what cookies are every time we accept them on each website we visit? Even though they're actually, they sound delicious, they're really just uh, another way of collecting data, website after website. And now the question that's on everybody's mind, are you being listened to right now by your phone? I mean, I hope not, most of your phones are off, right? But um, they're used to carry about verbal demands, meaning, you know, hey Siri, Alexa, all that. All very important things that some of us may use every day. But they are also used to track our data and deliver targeted ads. Health. When many of us think health, we think how that we spend too much time on computers. Like I said, 26 years, but that's 26 years that we haven't been exercising. Now, many of us never look past this fact, and in some degree, it motivates us. But one of the main issues is the bright lights from screens actually disrupts the way your brain functions, and in particular, sleep. Bright lights block melatonin, meaning that you never really feel sleepy or feel, or the effects are dampened. And the amount of impacts on your, that your phone has on your hand and wrist alone would surprise you. And here's for the big picture, and the big one for me. Straight up, your head weighs about 10 to 12 pounds, or about five kilograms. At 45 degrees, very easily achieved by looking straight down at your phone, weighs about 50 pounds, or about 23 kilograms. Or, and at 60 degrees, many of us have achieved this, <coughs> weighs about 60 pounds, or about 27 kilograms. All this force on your neck, added up over the years, as you can imagine, doesn't exactly work wonders. Now, 
In conclusion, I hope you don't take away that I have some deep underlying hatred for computers, when in reality I hope to be a software engineer when I grow up, mm -hmm. and have since I saw two beautiful rocket thrusters, 100% piloted by computers, land back on our home planet after coming from space. And I, I just hope that you, that today's snake little preview of the impacts on computers will inspire you to learn a little bit more about how they affect the people around us, the environment, our privacy, and our health. 